You see, once again, it goes back to my childhood. I don't want them to become typical stage children, you know, pale little faces and never getting enough sleep and eating at all odd times. No, but they're here with us because we shall be away from home altogether two and a half months. And I can't imagine two and a half months without seeing my children. Yes. It's fashionable these days, you know, to be somewhat afraid of teenagers uh, for their morality and their involvement in life and all sorts of things like this. What would you have to say about that? Well, uh, I think that they're, it's true, they have a lot of money, they, uh, and they spend a lot of money on records and things, but I really feel that they don't know where they're going. They honestly don't know. And yet at the same time, they seem to be calling out to have more freedom. I don't think they quite know what they're calling out for, but I think there's a great emptiness in our lives in general. It's very difficult for me to say that. It may sound almost phony for me to say it, because my life is very full. But I sometimes get this feeling myself when I look at my children, what sort of lives they're going to have. I think life is very, very hard for a teenager in a very deep way. Not on the surface, because they have everything they want on the surface. But I think underneath it all that they're very frightened of life. <laughs>